Hello everyone! In this lesson, we will focus on the start scene. As you remember, we have created it in our first lesson and you can find it in the scenes folder in project. Currently, it is empty and we want to add some background to it. We can use the background from our main scene, we just have to make some modifications. So select ground and ground 1, copy them, then go to the scenes folder and double click on the start scene to open it. Now paste the grounds in the hierarchy. Ok, second thing to do is to get rid of scroll script, because it would not work for this scene, because we are missing many objects. That's why we will make another script for grounds in this scene. But now click on the ground, go to inspector, right click on the script and select remove component. Do the same for ground 1. And now we'll make a modified scroll script for our ground. So right click in the project, create C sharp script and name it scroll start. First drag it to the ground and ground 1 and then add it to the scripts folder and open it. Ok, so we want to make our background moving as it was in the main scene. So we will use the code from our scroll script and just modify a few things. So go to the scroll script, select everything and copy. Now get back to the scroll start and paste it. We have few errors that will get fixed when we type the correct name of the class, which is scroll start. Now go to the update method and delete the if statement because it is unnecessary here. And this is everything that we need to do for our scrolling background. Now let's get back to Unity. And next thing we will do is add start button. This button will allow us to start the main scene when we click on it. So we can do this by going to the sprites folder in project, finding start button and dragging it to the hierarchy tab. First we will change the label of it, then sorting layer to front. In order to detect the click on the button, we have to add collider to it. So click on add component, physics 2D, box collider 2D and let's add it collider to make sure that it's a bit bigger than the start text. Now let's add the script to the button. So click on add component and type the script's name, which will be start button. Add the script to the scripts folder and double click to open it. Ok, so this script will only have one function, which is private void on mouse down. This function detects when the button is pressed and then we need to specify that we need to open the main scene when that happens. In order to do that we will need scene manager and to use scene manager we will need to add that we are using unity engine that's scene management. Now we will use the scene manager to load scene so open the parenthesis and in between quotation marks type main. Let's save everything and check how it works. So our background is moving, let's click on the start button to take us to the main scene. Here it looks good for now, columns are spawning, score is counting and our game over text is working. Ok, that will be everything. In the next lesson I will teach you how to set up few details and how to run your game from your mobile phone.